Engine, performance and 060 time. Engine? Those are old news these days, aren't they? The Leaf uses a 110 kilowatts electric motor, that's 148 bhp in old money, and sends its power through a single speed reduction gear to the front wheels alone. It's also capable of developing 236 pounds foot of torque, effectively from rest, a figure that it holds for long enough until the power peak takes over. The whole lot is powered by a 40 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery pack good for an official 235 miles on the NEG test, or according to Nissan's own engineers, a realistic range of between 150-200 miles, depending on how you drive. That puts it in good stead with its rivals, most of whom are still scratching around the 150 mile mark. Nissan doesn't quote either 0 to 60 miles per hour or top speed figures for this new Leaf just yet, but an engineer suggests it'll get to 60 in the mid to high A second range. Call it 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9, a good couple of seconds quicker than its predecessor. And, naturally, it'll do that time and time again and in near total silence, save for the wind and road noise that begins to pipe up around 50 miles per hour. Technical Highlights Structurally and under the skin the leaf is fairly conventional. Technologically though there are three features which stand out, if not all from a driving dynamics standpoint. The first is the e-pedal. That's Nissan speak for one pedal driving, something many electric vehicle owners will be familiar with already, using the regenerative effect of the electric motor to slow the car, rather than the friction brakes. Where e-pedal differs to most is that it will pull the car to a complete halt, and do so smoothly and on road gradients. It does so by decelerating largely using the motor, but then blending in the friction brakes itself, and holding them, as you come to a halt. Doesn't sound appealing? You can turn it off with a switch on the center console. Next is ProPilot, with assist and park functions. Assist is a basic form of autonomous driving, steering you between the lines and maintaining a distance from the car in front at highway speeds. ProPilot Park is, as you might imagine, a system that can park the car completely by itself. Simply find a space, press the button, select go from the menu on the touch screen, and hold down the button for the rest. It'll parallel park, go forwards or backwards into a bay, and even let you select an unmarked space, in a big grass or gravel car park at a show. For instance, 